A pizza restaurant scores a low health inspection grade. There are some major violations here. Yeah, Don Dare shares the highs and the low of the week, and today is food for thought. Employees at this pizza place had a difficult time answering questions asked by the inspector. Managers are supposed to teach workers and help them understand the health standards. The grade is a 76 at the pizza station on Gateway Avenue in Rockwood. At 76 is a passing score. A grade of 69 and below is considered failing. There has not yet been a follow-up inspection. First off, when asked, an employee could not explain the proper procedures for washing, rinsing, and sanitizing equipment or utensils. Also, the employee did not know that a sanitizer test strip is used to check for the concentration of sanitizer. But employees are supposed to know these series of steps. In the refrigerator, the inspector found no date marking on proportioned ham, but the date of first use is required on all ready-to-eat food. There's more. The inspector writes the food slicer was extremely dirty with old food stuck to the blade and perhaps had not been cleaned for weeks or months. Also, the pizza dough machine was excessively dirty. And on the floor in the stock room was an open bucket of flour. The bucket should have been up on a shelf with a lid on it to protect the flour from possible contamination. The pizza station will be reinspected soon and we will update the score. Now, more than half a dozen area restaurants receive perfect or near-perfect health inspection scores, and here are the best grades of the week. Gondolier Italian Restaurant and Pizza, the one in Halls on Maynardville Highway, 100. In West Knoxville, Jacobs Deli and Grill on Middlebrook Pike scores 100. In South Knoxville, South Press on Chapman Highway, perfect. Also, Taco Bell on Chapman Highway scores perfect 100. The Panda Express on Cumberland Avenue near the University of Tennessee receives a grade of 100. In East Knox County, Wendy's on Strawberry Plains Pike scores a 99. In Alcoa, Metro Pizza on Hunter's Crossing Drive, 98. And the busy Alamo Steakhouse on the Parkway in Gatlinburg scores a 97. Restaurant health inspections are unannounced and they're conducted every six months. If, however, there's a complaint, an inspector will make a spot check. Don Dare covering Food for Thought.